So today we're going to do a little review of adding, subtracting, and multiplying polynomials. Let's start with addition. In addition, when you add two polynomials or three or four or five, whatever, you're simply combining like terms. Remember like terms are terms with identical variables and exponents. So x squared and x squared can be like terms. An x squared and a non-x squared can't. So be careful when you're adding like terms. The first set of like terms I have here are 2x squared and 7x squared. When you add like terms together, keep in mind that exponents never change in addition or subtraction but coefficients can be combined. So this says I have two x squareds. I'm adding seven more x squareds. I have nine x squareds total. I only have one regular x term. There's no like terms to go with it, so it just gets included. And finally, my two constants, 10 plus 14, combine to give me 24. Since I'm already in descending order, that's my answer. I'm done. I've simplified the expression. Remember your answer does have to be in descending order though this entire year. Moving on to subtraction. Subtraction almost follows the same rule as addition with one little tweak. The subtraction sign itself needs to be considered. When you see a subtraction sign with a set of parentheses after, that means you're subtracting everything in the second set of parentheses. I'm not just subtracting 12x to the sixth, I'm subtracting 4x to the fifth, I'm subtracting a negative 2x, and I'm subtracting a one. So I need to distribute the negative to whatever comes after it. Distributing to the 12x to the sixth, gives me negative 12x to the sixth. Then I'm subtracting a 4x to the fifth. What happens when you subtract the negative 2x? Anytime you have that double negative, it's going to become a positive. And then I subtract the one. Now I can pretty much ignore that second set of parentheses and use my new changed sign terms. I'm going to bring down my first set of parentheses. Nothing changes there. And now I can combine like terms. I end up with negative 13 x to the sixth. I'm going to go in descending order. My next largest exponent is this 5, so I'm going to bring it down. There's no other x to the fifths to combine it with. Going in descending order still comes my 7x squared then my 2x, then my two constants, 11 minus 1, leaves me with a positive 10. If I do it this way, I'm already in descending order. If you simply want to combine all your like terms first and then rearrange it to descending order, totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that as long as your answer ends up in descending order. Now finally, let's review multiplying polynomials. Multiplication has a totally different set of rules than addition and subtraction. In multiplication, you're actually finding the area of, let's say, a rectangle. So we're actually going to change both coefficients and exponents. Keep that in mind as we go through this. Multiplication is basically just a big distribution problem. We're going to distribute all the terms of the first set of parentheses or the first polynomial to all the terms of the second polynomial. So see how I have two terms in the first polynomial and then three terms in the second one? That means when I get all my multiplication done, I'm going to have six terms because two times three is six. So let's start. First, I'm going to distribute the negative 5x 
to everything in the second set of parentheses. Negative 5x times 3x squared. First of all, I multiply the coefficients, negative 5 times 3, and then I have 1x in, in the negative 5x and 2x is over here. That means I have 3x's total. So I'm going to get negative 15 x to the third power. Powers and coefficients change in multiplication. Make sure that gets in your notes. Next, negative 5x gets to be distributed to the negative x. Negative times a negative is a positive. 5 times 1 is 5. And x times x is x squared. Next, I have to multiply it to the positive 4. Negative times a positive is a negative. 5 times 4 is 20. And there's only one x involved, so it just gets brought down. Now I've distributed that negative 5x to every term in the second set of parentheses. Now I have to do the same thing with the 2. 2 times 3x squared gives me 6x squared. 2 times negative x gives me negative 2x. And 2 times 4 is 8. Am I done? What do you think? Oh, I don't think so, right? I've got a couple of like terms in here that can be combined. So after your multiplication is done, don't forget to combine like terms and then put our answer in descending order. The x to the third term doesn't have a like term, so it just comes straight down. I can combine my 5x squareds and my 6x squareds. That gives me 11x squareds. Remember, we're back to the rules of addition where exponents don't change. Negative 20x and subtracting another 2x's gives me negative 22x's. And the positive 8 doesn't have a partner, so he just comes down. Since I'm already in descending order, I am done. Make extra sure that you've written these examples in your notes. Write down any questions you have so we can go over them in class. Your assignment comes from your Unit 2A workbook. We're going to do pages 23 and 33, all 10 problems on each page. And don't forget to write your answers in descending order. I'll see you next time we have class. Have a great day.